Well, good afternoon, my stamping friends. It's Leslie with Love, Ink, and Paper. And I'm going to be live twice today. Busy day. Um, the first live right now, we're going to talk about the October Paper Pumpkin Kit, Home for the Holidays. And I've got um, a few different um, alternates. Now, I did use my Stampin' Gut and Emboss machine kind of a lot, um, but I think, I think it'll be okay. And for those of you that don't have one of those machines yet, um, the holidays are coming. Perhaps if you're very, very good, Santa will bring you one for Christmas. And if Santa needs help shopping for that for you, just send him my way, and I'll be happy to help him, okay? <laughs> All right, so anyway, <laughs> I know, we have a couple of minutes, we're a little bit early, it's, it's turned into a beautiful day, we're supposed to have a really nice stretch of days where I am, um, in this little southwestern corner of New Hampshire, it's um, today, if you have today off, today or tomorrow, or maybe even Thursday, might be the best days to go leaf peeping. Like it, 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 we've got a nice crisp blue sky. The leaves are shining beautifully against it. It's just, it's lovely. Um, so anyway, if you're into that, might be nice if you have the day off or you can take <coughs> a sick day <laughs> or a mental health day or whatever you might need. Um, today would probably be, um, or tomorrow, tomorrow or, or Thursday would be probably lovely. Anyway, let's see. Are we close to time? Let me check. We're getting there. This small talk thing is not really my best quality. Oh, but I have somebody out there with me. Thank you very much. Whoever you are, I'm glad you're here. Um, and if you're somebody that's here watching the replay or you're catching me over on my YouTube channel, well, hello to you too, because, um, wherever you watch me, um, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. If you click the subscribe button on YouTube, I appreciate it. If you click the little bell icon, um, so that you'll get notified when I go live, then you won't miss anything. Um, well, I don't go live on YouTube, but you will know, you will get notified if I post a new video. Um, I don't have enough subscribers quite yet to go live on YouTube. So keep subscribing and maybe I'll be able to go live there pretty soon. That would be great. All right. So let's see. Am I close? I think we're close enough. All right. So. Here is my host code for a little bit longer, another week or so. All right. Um, let's see what else is under here. I've got a whole lot of little things that I want to talk to you about before we get going. Um, we've got, let's see, let me count them, seven days, one more week. If you haven't taken advantage of the starter kit special, um, you should do that. Um, well, maybe you want to do that. Um the, you can do 30%, 35% off the kit, which makes the kit cost 20, 64, sorry, 24. That would be a huge deal. Uh, 64, 35. And, but you get to choose $125 worth of product. If $125 worth of product isn't enough, if your wish list is bigger, your, your shopping list is bigger than $125, then maybe you want to go with this one where you're still spending the $99, but you're choosing $168.75 worth of product. So you decide which one is best for you. Okay. Then I want to just remind you that if you got this month's kit, you want to make sure that you're going to get next month's kit as well because they are going to coordinate, okay? There's also an add-on. I can't wait to get these um, note card bases. Um, mine should be coming in the next few days. They weren't, I was bummed they weren't here today. 
Um, but you get 20 card bases, 10 and 10, so 10 red and 10 with the winter scene, and 20 coordinating uh, envelopes. Okay, now the card size is 5 by 7. So these are great for, like, tucking a picture in or whatever you might need. Sometimes you need that little bit bigger card size, so these will be perfect. All right, let's get to the kit. So I did an unboxing, and that video is up on YouTube at this point, and you could find it on my Facebook. Um, if you go up to the media tab and you click videos, you should be able to find it. Okay. Um, so this kit was designed to make um, eight cards, four of this design and four of this design. And they look like this when they're done. So during the unboxing video, I made one of each just the way the kit suggested, okay? Well, almost exactly the way the kit suggested. I did leave off one set of trees on this card. I just felt like the trees got to be a little bit too much. So anyway, that's what they're designed. Very beautiful cards, very sparkly. I don't know if you can see because you get a little bottle of glitter glue. Um and very, very sparkly, okay, um, which is pretty cool. But today is all about let's take this kit and let's tweak it just a little bit, okay? So the first one I saw was kind of a, a missing middle card, which I thought was kind of neat. Let me see what I'm going to need from the kit. Um, we're going to need, I think, one of these. I took an envelope and I trimmed off the flap. And then I sort of eyeball. I did not measure. I am, I'm not a perfectionist. I don't do that. I took the middle of the bow and on my trimmer, here, let me show you what I did. Okay. So what I did was I just took it and I lined the middle of the bow. Let me make sure you're, let me just stand up here and make sure. I think you're in camera view. Yeah, you look like it. Um, so I took the uh, two and one eighth, which is half of four and a quarter. And I put that right kind of at the middle of the bow. And then I just sliced that off. And then I kind of measured what I cut off and I cut that off pretty much at the other side. Or you can just go to, well, I know I want it to be four and a quarter so I can just trim it off there. Okay, actually it's a little longer than four and a quarter. So let me just Take this little smidge off like that, and that'll help make sure it's nice and even. Okay, so I don't know if you have seen a missing middle card, okay? Yeah, and I got some ink on there, but you know what? When I put this on, ha, nobody's going to know. So, all right, so a missing middle card, you, you use a smaller card base, okay? So this is still four and a quarter, but it's longer. I wonder how long it is. Hmm. Um, okay, let me measure from here. It is seven and a quarter. Okay, this way. So I've got just a, a little bit of, you know, I just cut off some of it because I didn't need it. So then I'm going to put this, the envelope flap, right up here at the top. Okay. So let's just put some adhesive and we'll just stick that right here like this. And I'm going to go right up to that score line but and center it like that. Okay. So now I have that up at the top. Then I'm going to have my little scene 
at the bottom, okay? But I need to have something in between, right? So what I decided to do, and I tried two different things, and I, I, I'm going to try them both, but I think I like the um, vellum better for a couple of reasons. Um, so I tried embossing a piece of window sheet. And the texture is there. I can feel it. I can see it here. You probably can't on the camera, and I'm sorry. Um, so I tried that thinking, okay, well, I'll just put my window sheet here and adhere my thing. And then we'll have that clear. And when you open, it's going to open the whole thing. Okay, and that, but I didn't, I didn't like that. So I embossed a piece of vellum. Now I liked this a lot better for a couple of reasons. One, it's going to hide the, um, it's going to hide your inside a little bit better. Okay, you're still not going to want to write a huge message here, but. But I liked that better because the white showed a little bit more. Okay. Now, it would really show, I have all of my pieces here, if I had chosen to cut a Knight of Navy card. But then I didn't like this so much. But, you know, you could do an open middle with just white up there. Right? So I could just put a little skinny piece of white up there that was also embossed, and that would make a really pretty card front. Okay? And then the white is going to show really, really well. So it was just, there was a whole lot of things swimming around in my brain. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of adhesive right here. Now there is the envelope adhesive. I'm not going to lick it, but you know. All right. So let's just line this up. And we'll make sure we cover all of that so we don't have any adhesive sticking out. And I think that's straight. Probably shouldn't have pushed it down super tight. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have because it's not super straight. All right, hang on. Luckily, vellum, if you're careful, will kind of come off a little bit. And so now what I want to do, I think, is make sure this is going to hit. Okay. Like this. Okay, so I lined it up on the sides, and I made sure that was going to gonna cover that. All right, then we're going to use this, and I'm going to put, I think I'll use a little bit of liquid adhesive, because up behind these houses is going to, to have, um, can have adhesive, but I want to be careful because I don't want to glue my card shut. So let's grab my liquid adhesive and we'll go right up along the edge of the house like this. And the other way you can make sure that you're not going to go too far down, like you're not going to, you can just put your adhesive along here like that. So now what I can do is line this up along the bottom edge like this. Whoop. And then give it a good press. Okay. Oop, I got a little bit of adhesive somewhere here. I can feel it. Yeah, right there. That's okay. 
because we're going to, whoop. Oh, you know what? It doesn't want to, I know why that's doing that. Because I didn't go down behind those very much. I just went along the edge. But it should be fine. All right, so then we're going to take our glitter glue that we got in the kit and go along the roof line like this. And I like to go kind of slow so that it doesn't, the string of glue doesn't break. That's my tip for that. And we'll go do the windows like that. Doing that snow over the windows, some sparkle. Like that. Okay, we're going to do this roof line as well. There we go. On the other side of the chimney. All right. Now you can add little bits. I wouldn't do all of the snow on the trees or you'll run out of your glitter glue. But I do like to do a little bit. Make those a little bit sparkly. You could also just go um, grab your Wink Stella and do that. So you could, if you have a Wink Stella, you could just grab that and just give that a little bit of Like that, just kind of, just kind of dot it around so you have some sparkle. That is one of my favorite things about winter is to go out and right after it snows and have a sunny day and it just, the, the sparkle is just so, so pretty. So there you go. Now, once this dries, you might want to put it on something kind of heavy because the, the card, the vellum wants to curl a little bit. Um, but I think that's okay. Now, you could add a greeting from the kit if you wanted to. And I may stamp it right on there, actually. Um, we had a real red ink spot, so let's use that. And... Is that going to fit? It is. Let's use this one. I think this is intended to be the inside greeting, but I kind of like it, so we're going to use it on the outside. And it says, let's uh, celebrate the, hang on, the wonder and joy of this festive season. Okay, so I can do that down here in the corner. Ooh, if I don't put my fingers all in the glue. Hey, Les, don't do that. Oh, well, I can fix that a little bit. All right, let's put this down here in this corner. Like that. And then, again, if we're kind of careful. <laughs> oh, Leslie. We can just hold this open. Probably would have been good to do this before. And then I'm just going to put this way up at the top. Mm, yeah. So that. There we go. So that this, so it's hidden. So you don't see that part. Okay. Well, that wasn't done exactly the way it should have been, but we got there in the end. All right. So there's one. I'm going to set that aside and try hard not to put my hand in any more. All right. So then I saw a really fun idea. And I really liked it. So I've done a little of the pre-stamping first. Um, <laughs> Where did my piece go? Oh, here. 
here it is. There's the one. It's even got the die still attached. Okay. So I thought it would be really fun to do um, a snow globe. You ever have one of those as a kid? I could sit there and shake those things for hours and be very entertained. I know, perhaps that says something about, I don't know. Anyway, so then I embossed another piece of vellum so that it looks like the glass, okay? So now we have our house in there and we have our glass, right? And the background, the blue. Now, if you wanted, you could have more of the snow up there. Maybe I like that better, like that. Okay, so then I need a base, right? The the. Snow globes sit in a base. So I took a little piece of white cardstock and used and decided I would use some uh, the so I embossed it with the tim the timber embossing folder my Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. And then I thought, well, let's just add a little crumb cake. We'll just make this look like wood, right? So we're gonna kind of, but I didn't, I could have used crumb cake cardstock, I suppose, but this just makes it less flat, right? It's, you know how crumb uh, cardstock is just, it's all the same color. This way you get a little bit of variant in your color. It's not flat, okay? All right, so there's that. But I really wanted that wood grain to show. So I grabbed my early espresso and a sponge dauber. And I'm gonna be really careful with a sponge dauber not to push real hard. I'm just going to very lightly Go over the top and just catch those raised parts so that the lower part that I got with the crumb cake stays crumb cake and then we have some wood okay and it's not flat okay so that was that. So now we need to get, let's bring this in. And we need my sealed up sponge. And a little bit of this. So we'll just put that on there like that. And let's layer these up. So first, we can put a little bit of liquid glue back here, okay? And I just sponged on, uh, I used Knight of Navy ink and my, uh, another blending brush and did that. So that's why we have some night sky back there. Okay, so then we're going to use this, and if you, I probably put too much glue out, and if you just go around on this, like this, and sponge the, the liquid adhesive all over like that, it's much less likely to show. All right, except that it's sticking to me and I have to put this back in its baggie so it doesn't dry out. So that sponge, that's just, it's always like that. 
and you don't have to wash it and everything if you seal it up tight. There. Okay. So then we're going to just move this out of the way. And that will all dry and I can peel it right off of there. All right. And then we can just put this, I don't know, does the base sit on top or behind? I think I want it on top, like that. All right, let's get out a card base. So I got, so I have some white and I have a navy base. Oop, no, it's not the base. Here's my base. Okay. So I have my navy base. We'll just give it a good crease. Like that. Let's put you away. Okay. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is put more snow at the bottom of this one. Okay. And this is a little bit smaller than a traditional layer, so it's, I think, three and three quarters by five or something like that. Um, because I wanted more of that Knight of Navy to show. Then we can pop up on dimensionals. The base here, like that. Let's just make sure we can get, yeah, okay, there's our base. Now if this is going to be up there, we got to have some dimensionals on the back near the top, okay, but just a little bit of liquid glue where this is going to touch the base, okay just to kind of help it stay where we want it. Okay. There we go, like this. Okay. We can use one of the banners from the kit. And a real red pad. Now you could use the, the Happy Holidays one. I just, I have the Merry Christmas on my block. Oops. See the mess I made? Okay, I got that. All right. There we go. Okay. You want to be a little bit careful with the labels because sometimes this cardstock, the ink doesn't dry quite the same way as it does on the... Um, on our regular cardstock. So I think I'm going to put that a little off center. 
And I think the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take... Oh, check this out. Hang on. I just thought of something. All right. So I can take this big long piece. I'm going to just go out to the corner like that. And I'm going to go this way. All right. And Okay. So I'm going to put that back there. So it's just a little tiny bit of sparkle. So we're going to take our liquid glue. So that way I'm using what normally would have been thrown away. Come on, there it goes. I want just a tiny little bit of that across here. And I like that it goes right into the navy a little bit. So I'm liking that. And then we'll just pop this up on dimensionals. They gave us quite a few dimensionals this time. So they, they gave us such a big sheet because they were expecting that we would pop up so many of those houses and things. And we'll just kind of line that up so that the this is right kind of in the middle there. Yeah, I'm liking that. Okay, so now we have our little snow globe. And did I bring them over here? I thought I did. I saved some of the pieces from the inside of the envelope that I trimmed down. Hang on. Thought I brought them over here. But right now, all I'm feeling is cardstock. Oh, here they are. They went a little farther over than I thought. So I have some pieces that I cut from one of the envelopes. I can just put that in there. Um, but, oh, I didn't bring a green. That's okay. Let me, let me show you something, okay? So we are sort of being conditioned to think that this is a tree, okay? To me, honestly, the first time I saw it, I thought it was a pine cone. And since there are pine trees on the front in the thing, let's make a couple of pine cones right here then what we can do is take a blender pen and just kind of move some of that ink around See how I'm just kind of going over that and that's just pulling I'm not adding any ink I'm just pulling some of that early espresso ink into there and now as far as I'm concerned these are pine cones if you don't like it that way don't do that do it as a tree down in the bottom that's fine I gotta get my scrap paper so I can clean this off so now I just color until it does till it's clear and then it's all better okay so now we can just put this on the inside like this and have a little place for our message like that and i'm noticing a small smudge so we're going to take our our inside greeting and stamp it on the inside this time because i may be able to um, I may be 
able to s disguise that a little bit. Like this. Ha! Almost can't even notice it. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, there are no mistakes. You just sometimes have to get a little creative. And that's okay. You just have to disguise that so that people don't notice quite so much. Because they're busy reading the words. They're not going to notice that teeny tiny little smudge. All right, so there's two. All righty. Let's see. Oh, I know the other one I really, really wanted to show you. And I do have time. All right, so where did I put it? Here it is. Okay. So, yeah, that's... Here. Let's see if we can... Get that. There. Okay. Well, it's okay. It's not exactly perfect down here. But you know what? You're not going to see it anyway. So hang on. Watch it. Watch and see how this works. Let's put my deckled circle over here with my deckled circles so I don't lose it. There. Now... I'm going to grab my trimmer, move that out of the way, and we're going to make a little bridge card. So I like to stretch this out, and I use this side over here, and we want to go to an inch and a quarter, and I'm going to slice from the score line, okay, it's pretty good down here, okay? Then I'm gonna go to an inch and a quarter on this side, like that. I'm gonna go back up here, like that, and do that. All right, so now we have those, okay? So this opens twice if you're careful so but it's a little bit floppy right now but that's okay so we're gonna take this die cut that is designed to go on this card okay I think it is yeah But it's, it's designed to go on that landscape card, and it's wide all the way across, so it can go like this. Okay. So what we do is we want to put our adhesive only out here. Okay? Only out here. So we can take our liquid adhesive and... We can go about an inch, okay, so we're going to go like that, and we're going to go here a little bit, and up the edge, like that, okay, and I know I can go about that far for now, then I know I can go along here, I can go in the inside, like that and we'll go a little bit here and along the bottom so now I have glue where I want it and not where I don't none in the middle because we don't want that sticking so we're gonna squish this down I'm gonna line it up like this Okay, and then it opens like a bridge, and then you have something here, and we can hide something here. We could even do not that. Um, yeah.
Okay, I am going to hide this under here. So let's stamp our Merry Christmas. Okay. There we go. There's that. And then, before I put that away, I'm going to open this up and I'm going to put our inside greeting in here. Like that. And I'm going to take one of our little tree die, um, die cuts. Maybe one of these. Can I hide the double? I don't know. I think just the little one will hide. So let's put a little one. Under here, like that, we'll put this here, So now we have no greeting on the front, which is I'm okay with because now, and oh, you know what? We could put one of our little trees, I bet, right? Actually, hang on. I have this pair of trees. I don't think I want the pair of trees. I think I want something smaller or something really big. Let's try the big tree with the star. What if we put that right? That could be front and center. And then it kind of covers up that one in the back. Yep, let's do that. Okay. Hang on, shouldn't have pushed that that hard. I want that down a little bit farther. Okay. All right, so we're gonna put that one kind of right there. Okay, so now we have our bridge. We have our tree on the outside. We open it this way. Now we see Merry Christmas and we see our little tree. And now we see Celebrate Wonder and Joy. Okay? There we go. All right. So, how are we doing? That was three. I'm trying to think if I have any others prepared. Um. I have some other bases and things, but I'm not sure that I'm quite ready with any others. But we can try. I did bring some scraps over. So let's do... I know, did you notice... You do have a paper folding tool right here at the end of your hand. So if you can't find your bone folder or you forget, just use your just use your thumb. It works fine. All right, so let's I have some little pieces of white cardstock. So we can grab the early espresso and Grab our 
little house. And I did bring some markers over. Oop, that block is a little too small, which means we're just going to pull that off. I didn't get too red. Put that on there. Whoops, that's crooked. Now it doesn't matter because I'm going to cut it out anyway. All right. So we have a couple of houses here because I'm not sure how many I'm going to want. All right. And I just grabbed a few markers. So let's start with the greenery. I was watching somebody's video. She was from uh, Texas, maybe, or something. She's like, I have never seen this but they showed it colored green. I don't know where they do that, but I guess some places do. So I wrote to her and I said in the comments, and I said, oh yeah, that's a New England thing for sure. The pine roping around the edge of the, along the edge of the roof. She said, I knew they must do it somewhere, but <laughs> sure don't do it down here in Texas. So we'll get our wreaths green. Like that. One on the door. Some on the windows. Like that. You know, I get quiet when I'm concentrating, and I'm concentrating really hard right now. <laughs> so it's hard for me to chat and make sure that I'm paying attention to what I'm doing so I don't end up coloring something that I don't want to color or color something that I don't want to color that, the, you know, like green or something. All right, a couple more wreaths here. There we go. I love that they often give us in the kits at least one image that we can do more of. Um, so I really like that. All right, let's do the bows. Oh, this real red is not. There we go. I think she also said that she had never seen a red chimney. So I thought that was interesting too. So clearly they don't use bricks for the chimneys down there or something. They must use concrete. Okay, 
So I think I'm going to give one of these. Uh, yeah. Nope. I was going to give one of a, a red door, but that's going to interfere. Oh, this is one of the new markers. I love these new tips. So we'll have a brown door. And brown shutters. And I did bring crumb cake, so I can do a little bit lighter some parts of the door. And maybe it could even have um, Do the shutters brown. Like that. Probably wanted a pop of color, but that's okay. There's that. Let's grab the crumb cake. Now that's an old marker, so that's not a good tip to use. We'll use this one. Now, I wonder if I'm going to like to have the house this light brown, or if I leave it white. Um, oh. I think I'm going to leave the house white. Um, just because I am. We can have a light brown house over here, but we'll have a blue door. Oh, hey, this is Misty Moonlight. This is a new marker. I can use a small tip. And I will go home later and read any comments and things. That is a little bit sad for me that I have, I guess I should work on my setup. But I don't like using my phone as well. I think my tablet gives us a better look. Um... So, anyway, and the way that the tablet holder is, I can't really see. All right. There's that. Now we can have a light brown house. And I could have gotten my Stampin' Blends out. I just didn't. I don't know why. Well, I kind of do know why. Because these were a little quicker and easier to get at. Okay, so we have a brown house and a white house. Red, uh, brown door and blue door. All right, so let's quick cut those out. I know, I wish I knew how to speed up the, the video later. Sorry. Just not something I've learned how to do yet. I know some people speed through the cutting. But I like you to see what I'm doing. So make sure you're noting that I cut off extra so that it doesn't get in my way. 
and that my non-favorite hand, as the PE teacher where I worked for a long time used to call it, um, or my least or less favorite hand, um, does most of the work. My scissors really just open and close. My left hand is what steers my paper. Okay, and I just keep cutting off any of those big pieces so that they don't start bumping into my hand and making it hard. So we can have a house and some trees, right? And then we could have another house back here. And maybe we could have a, another tree. And it would be smaller because it would be farther away. Okay, so we'll take one of the small ones. Well, I gotta cut this one out first. Like that. So now we have a little scene. I know that one's not cut out yet. I haven't finished. And then we'll just put it on our Knight of Navy base. Okay. And then we can add a greeting um, and all that sort of thing. But so there's another idea. We didn't finish it quite yet, but I will. And um, I'm just trying to be respectful of how much time I have already taken um, of your afternoon. So, or whenever you're watching this. So I will finish cutting the house. I will add the trees. I will um, go ahead and put the, the sparkle on there and um, I will share it with you later. Okay, so check back for the comments and things. So let's take a look at what we did. So we did our bridge card. Okay. We did our snow globe card. And we did our sort of missing middle card. <laughs> okay. So there are some other ways to do missing middle and where you actually attach on the sides. Um, so, anyway, there you go. Our alternate, alternate projects for this month. So, I hope you will grab some dinner and whatever and join me back here at 7 for a really fun technique using the um, Stampin' Blends markers. So... Um, I will catch you in a while. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>